thinks I'm used to this because I'm from Colorado, but <laughs> it's like very different snow over here. It's colder and wetter somehow, but it's been great. I mean, we've we've had accessibility to indoor fields when we need them. So, um, I mean, unfortunately, we can't control the weather, but we're making it. We're making do with what we got going on. So it's been cold, but lots and lots of layers. You know, obviously, we're sad to lose those players, but we're also incredibly pleased with the players that we've got in. We've obviously got the return of Carly, um, who was also injured last year, but is now fit. Um, and we're obviously hoping to see her in the She Believes tournament. Um, obviously, with the signing of Saddam Lee as well, we're really pleased that she can come in and help strengthen our midfield. Um, and then with our draftees that we've got coming in a later part of the season after their college season. So I think we've got some good players coming in. Obviously, we're always looking to improve upon the roster whenever we can. We want to make sure that we're the most competitive that we can be, uh, making sure that we're on a par to compete uh, for a championship with any team in this league. So always looking at our depth of roster and we feel like the players that we've brought in will definitely contribute um, to us raising our, raising our standard and being able to compete uh, at the top of the table. It's been kind of a lot trying to figure out what's going to happen. Obviously, these games need to be played and they need to be played kind of soon. So um, it's been a little bit stressful trying to figure out what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, like the player's safety is what what's the most important here. So as much as we need to delay until it's safe for us to play, that's what we need to do. It's just kind of a rerouting of um, plans, but that's kind of what what COVID has presented us with. So, um, but on the flip side, I've been able to be here um, in with the team during obviously like a criti critical time. So just got to take the positives of the situation and roll with it. For us, it's about using that time um, and building slowly into it. I don't think there's any rush to, you know, making sure that the players are coming in now incredibly fit and ready to go at right now, because I think we've still got, you know, a, a bit of time to go for the season. So we've taken a more gradual approach, um, focusing on getting touches on the ball rather than just long running or doing a lot of fitness without a ball um, and I feel that by using the ball a little bit more that's how we were able to keep the players interest and keep the players on their toes and we're layering up the level of detail um, and going from a more broader foundation into more specific training as we get closer to the start of the season and then into the season. Um, I think looking at the season that the players have in front of them it's important to keep it fresh and it's important to making sure that we as a staff team are doing all that we can to challenge the players, um, you know, mentally as well as physically and get them performing at the right levels at the right times. So we're certainly taking this time that we've been afforded by the league to not jump into anything too quickly. Um, and Estelle will be able to talk about, you know, how we're able to do that. And I don't think it's been too bad, Estelle, has it, with, with the running and the physical side. They're getting tired, but I don't think they're bored. <laughs> it's been all right. It's been all right. <laughs> I think, you know, comparing to this stage when we had those two or three days and then comparing that to now, we, we've we certainly raised our level. Um, the players coming in last year, there was a, certainly like an uncertainty to how I was going to be, how the staff were, how are we going to play? And I think having... The, the little time that we did last year, but we had those big gaps. We were able to do a lot of film. We were allow, uh, able to really establish how we wanted to play. And then as you saw in the Challenge Cup and the full series, it was just about getting more consistent with our ability to play in that style. Whereas I think now the players coming into preseason this year already have that kind of understanding of what we're trying to hit. And now it's about raising the level, raising the consistency, and then taking that an extra step, an extra two steps, an extra three steps as we can throughout the season and pushing it. So the players have come in. I feel like they're better prepared. I feel like the level has been higher from the get-go. Um, I feel like their fitness is certainly at a level where we can now deliver on how we want to train and how we want to play. So, you know, it's been a really, really positive start so far and just looking forward to continue to push um, and raise the ceiling a little bit as we go in through this long pre-season and, and through the season itself so that there is a big difference between now and if you ask me the same question at the end of this season, we'd have seen that transition and seen us raise our level even more.